G'day folks. Uh, we got uh, got ourselves a big project this morning, this afternoon or this evening. Uh, can you see that here? That's a construction heater. Uh, hang on, you'll get a better idea once I, I bring the, the cover. See this goes, goes on top of that. But for the purpose, I took it off because uh, this thing, uh, this thing wasn't working, eh? So I kind of, I'm not going to show you, well, I got to show you a few things. This particular one's got two elements, like, uh, I got my tester here, eh? Uh, yeah, see this is an element here, and there's another element, and these are in uh, parallel. Uh, they're comprised of 2,400 watts each. That's a total of 4,800 watts. This is it, of heating elements, resistive heat. That there... Uh, you need uh, the draw on that, it's around 19, 19 amps, 20 amps. So <laughs> the problem with this, okay, if you ever, if your heater fails, you can check to see if you have resistance, Be, like un undo the these leads here and you check test your elements, if the elements are good, then you rehook them. Then there's a, right here, I don't know if you can see it, that's what they call a thermal cutout. <laughs> if, for some reason, this little fan fails, and uh, trust me that happens because I had one in here, that's what I heat my garage with too, by the way, <laughs> well mostly. Where, See, I just heat it when I'm in here, eh? I, I don't heat it when I'm not in here. And uh, these, like this particular one, has a, a little motor. And this little motor can be... Uh, <coughs> hang on. Can be oiled. I got this 3-in-1 oil there. So you put a little bit in those... Alright, don't have to put a ton, eh? It's, uh, these little motors, they're not, oops, <laughs> they're not the end of the world. And, uh, it's good to put a little bit of oil in them, because they, they'll seize up eventually. <laughs> and, uh, if there's a lot of resistance, uh, in, like on the shaft, eventually the winding's gonna heat up and then it'll burn. But, what I found with this particular uh, unit is the thermostat was gone. It had a, like just a knob thermostat here. I tried to get that on Amazon and it was a futile, <laughs> it wasn't, uh, it, it wasn't coming true, eh? And uh, so I went looking and I, on eBay I found a few. But for 100 and 120 bucks, 130 bucks, that's American. And that's worth more than the heater's worth. So I'm not going to buy that. So, well, what are we going to do? I found, I found, uh, hang on, I'm going to show you this, oops, this Honeywell thermostat on Amazon and uh, I got this one they were here Canadian it was 30 bucks maybe 32 bucks on Am but they had uh, I think they had four or five that were defects eh? like uh, the upper and the lower what it was is the box is damaged but that's uh, yeah, for 25 bucks I think I got it for that's uh, delivered so that's pretty good. This thermostat 
is rated for 5,000... I'm going to say 5,250 watts. Uh, so there are 5,000... It's around 22, 23 watt, uh, amps. So it's got a bit of a safeguard. It's not like... It's not bulletproof, like it's not, uh, don't, like, this has to be tested to see if it's going to, if it's going, how long it's going to run. But I'm going to take, I have one right there, it's working right now. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put this one instead and we're going to run it. We're going to see how long it lasts. It may be good, just as good as the original one. The... I could have showed you that, but now it's in the garbage and it's gone. The garbage truck picked it up yesterday, so too late, too far, too bad. But the thermostat that was in here, one contact, the contact that was uh, making and breaking for uh, the thermostat part was good. But the other lead, which was the on-off contact, and that's the only reason why that contact, that was about a third of the size of the contact that was used for the thermostat. Thermostat goes off and on. The other one, it just goes on when you turn it on and it stays. But that contact must have heated up because it, was, it wasn't making. And uh, that's why it failed on me. So, okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to speed this up or what. But uh, we're going to proceed to install this in here. <laughs> so uh, I won't be talking too much there. We're going to do some work. and Because uh, if we talk too much, then we don't do much. And then uh, I'll take you and we'll try this and we'll see. It's either a <laughs> success or a failure. I've already, uh, with the batteries there, the... Uh, Lit lithium ion batteries. I, I I have another one. Like this story is not over yet, eh? Uh, I have another one there. This is a four amp one, and uh, it does the same thing. Just got one light and it blinks and it doesn't want. I put it in the charger. Wow, that's for another day. Okay, but that battery failed. Okay, what we're installing is. Uh, Okay, I have uh, two chunks of heat shrink on here. Uh, I prepared uh, these. These have spade uh, terminals. I'm going to be hooking them up with this here. These part here, hang on. It's slipping away on me. <laughs> these here. Uh, I'm going to be connecting with uh, Mar Mar connectors, uh, yeah. just uh, you'll have to bear with me while I'm doing this. See, before I could show you this, that's uh, electrical jewels, <laughs> jewels of knowledge. Uh, before you had, when I first started <laughs> as an apprentice, there was, they used to call them MAR connectors, and the, we had the 31, which is the small one. There was even one smaller than that, but we never had that in stock. We had the 31s, the 33, which is mid, uh, and then the, you had the 35, which was uh, about as much as we'd use in the house. But uh, now, uh, and I don't think this is 3M. 3M started making them, but now I think these are Mar too. But they come out with uh, one size and they're blue like this. That covers the whole range. <laughs> so there's no use in that. Uh, oh, I wanted to tell you something too. You, uh, I didn't do it yet there. Once I finish doing the connections, then we're going to go over it. But when you when you put a MAR connector on, 
I could tell you this because this is uh, jewels of knowledge. Uh, always take a pair of pliers to your connection and yeah, give it a once over just to ensure. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to talk about something else. Uh, I don't know, you guys are too young for this, but uh, when I more or less started the trade, it was in the days, well, a few years after I started, they started putting aluminum wiring in houses, eh? These connectors there, like it was uh, in the winter, it was cold, eh? and we'd be wiring and doing all the joints in the house. Well, when we went in the house, and the house was heated. You just take the wires and you pull them out to hook up your your fixtures and things in the ceiling, or even putting your plugs on. If you had a Mar connector connection, you pull it and the, the Mar at fall. Your connection was loose. You had to twist it them, uh, twist the connection again, and retighten them. And uh, didn't take long after a few years that they they came out with the. Uh, you had to put pigtails on the on the connections and they weren't approved anymore. Okay, yeah, that's enough. I don't want to tell you too much, eh? That there's just so much that a guy can absorb and, and one sit down. <laughs> okay, now, oops. Ah. This, uh, Okay, I'll be busy here, so you start watching there. Okay, this is going to go like this. Okay. I'll turn this around. You guys can't see much if it's like that, eh? You can see when I'm done. This is a, uh, you could see it's not quite an approved way of doing it, but uh, it's not approved, but it's my way of doing it. So, uh, number six. This one here, the hole was already there, so uh, I couldn't tap tap it, eh? Because uh, the other one I just tapped it and uh, turned out all right. But this one here, eh. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's important to get the right heat shrink, the right heat shrink for what you're doing. Uh, <laughs> me, I, well, I have a, <laughs> a few rolls and I have some here. See, this is uh, where I, I uh, uh, <laughs> seeing as I'm an electrician, eh? Hey, uh, gonna work. Mm -hmm. This heat shrink is the good stuff. It's got, aye, it's got a kind of a glue in it, eh? But uh, uh, some kind of glue. I don't know exactly uh, the particular name for that that glue, but uh, works good. <laughs> now <laughs> I'm gonna slip that over. Like that, <laughs> and we're gonna you know what? I'm gonna try. I found this here. have a real heat gun but it's in the back there and I don't know where it is coming together and not fast but then uh, fast doesn't necessarily cut it <laughs> we have to be with a little strap down here and I'm trying to weasel the wires under there <clears throat> This is going to be like that, but <laughs> we don't know. Uh, I'm going to check something here. This here cover may cause some problems here <laughs> eventually. This goes like this.
No. Tell you, it's uh, this screw's not gonna be good because it's it's tripped. Uh, be one of these, but now, hang on, <laughs> I'll be with you shortly. <laughs> there, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm uh, just going to finish putting this together and then I'll, we'll, we're going to re, <laughs> ooh, chunk of steel dug into the thing. We're going to re, we're going to reconvene down that way where I have my plug to plug this heater in and we're going to see if it works. So you yeah, stand by. <laughs> they say that proof is in the pudding. Well, we're going to see if the pudding is stir stirred enough. We're going to, right now it's at off. I got it plugged in. And, uh, and uh, she's throwing good heat. So, now the trick is going to be, so instead of a, a hundred and some bucks for a thermostat, with this here, it's, uh, the only thing is I'm going to try to find something, some screws. See, this is uh, always located here, eh? so this thermostat is not going to, be damaged I don't think unless uh, you really want to damage it but uh, it works so uh, I'll be uh, like I'll be leaving this on uh, I'll be leaving this on only when I'm in the garage I keep it more or less under supervision if ever something happened to the thermostat part it's within the metal enclosure here, so it's uh, it's uh, per the norms. It's got uh, maybe uh, it's got two, three amps, about three amps of uh, leeway. Yeah. Five, twenty-five. No more than that. It's got <laughs> got uh, six amps of leeway on the thermostat. So, uh, I think we're doing all right. I think it's good. It's not a thermostat for these heaters, but these heaters, the thermostat, they want an arm and a leg, and I wasn't about to... Like the thermostats work more than you can get these heaters for... Uh, I think they're on sale right now for 120 bucks, something like that. So you're gonna pay the same thing for a thermos? That doesn't make no sense. So okay, folks. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I salute you all. Don't forget, eh? Uh, comments are welcome. And uh, another thing to wait. Eh? The better ones are coming. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you when, but 
they're coming. <laughs> Salute you all, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>